loss, I think, for Fnatic, Crims had a very tough match. And, you know, this is a guy that we look back at all of his experience, all his accomplishments. We'll see if he can continue to improve. But for now, it's a hold over towards the B site. Fasher is going to drop DGT and QZ up next. And Ooh. it's just instant. Fasher making quick work of the little that was left here of 9Z's T push into the B site. Something back from Max. A chance at a second. Mezzi keeps it clean, and those USPs shoot hot. Yeah, it's sort of a fast reminder of how good he and teams, and so it is a step up in competition. These few pistols that 9Z can scatter across the map, pressuring into the A site. MP9 nearly gets away from Fasher. Nikodaw's gonna slide in with two. Palace Peak shut down. Pistols out. Roy's on that scoreboard. And now Nikodaw's and Roy starting to warm up. They hadn't been given gunfights until now. Yeah. And uh, if you can eyes in, nothing will be shown from 9Z. So a very curious situation where Fnatic could take a bit of a chance here and try to run this retake. Yeah, Roy's kit is gonna be very important here because he has the damage grenades. The smokes will be meaningful, but they've got to flush people out of positions. That's a nice start. NQZ, the one player able to peek and shave one off already. Fasher, what a turn. And Roy, he's going to get Max out of the apartments. This one's going to come down to the crunch. Final few seconds to spare. Ops backing up. And what do you know? 9Z pressing into that bomb site. They'll lose everything they invent. Countries with predecessors. You know, they're really digging through. And coming up with what could be gold. Like the UK. We got Mezzi. Yeah, imagine that. It's a good egg, that one. Could be coming home. Molotov goes deep onto the ramp. It's going to flush 9Z into Fasher. He's just kept himself tucked in. Element of surprise now gone, but great cover from above. Nikodaz just pulls them apart and pulls them into that A site. Nothing yeah. here for 9Z. Not a crims. Yeah, he's going to need some assistance here. Uh, so Mezzi starts to come over. They're going to be occupied with apartments. There's already a player on the front side of site, and that is Buddha. He catches crims with a headshot. We've got both these ops trying to scour the site, but nobody's giving angles. Nikodaz decides to go in and take one on his own damn terms. And in doing so, starts Starts to unravel all this. He gets past the windowsill, catches Ooh. DGT deep over towards the arch side, and now he hunts the window player, but Max is still front sight. Max catches Mezzi, Nikodos slides between, and we've got 9Z back with a round That's win. That's right, talk to him, Max, leading from the front. One round, Mezzi's not gone back into it, so they've just got to worry about Nikodos. Oh, Fasher, though, going to continue to tear them up as he has 17 and 3 in the first 12 rounds. And then Nikodos is always good for that one towards ramp, it seems. David, we'll give him that. Cracks Crims, oh. and DGT managed to push his way through, but remember, he only has two health, right? So he has to keep it clean, and Mezzi. He gets that one bullet in, the one golden shot to just take all the hope back out of the 9Z sails. Yeah, David, looks... this is interesting. Grabs the M4, finds what should be, yes sir, the freebie. Little wall bang on that. David then makes the jump over. Timing here could catch the B player off guard. And don't forget, he's got the bomb. If he can get this kill towards B, then David is absolutely on for the one versus three. Oh. But of course, it's Nika Dawes. Yes. He peeks his out through connector, catches him up on catwalk. Against him. He knows at least where two CTs are. But these are going to have to be the sickest headshots that you have ever seen. And as he comes through first, Nika Dawes does get dropped. Max only on 10. Every step, it felt as though it's simply too much to ask of him. Crims, all you have to do is peek, but now that gun's back out, and Max has the smallest, slimmest chance at this clutch. Oh, he's floating, but he's safe from tri tri triple right now. <gasps> oh, oh, but Mezzi's gonna find him, and there for Fnatic. Sure enough, playing numbers round after round, a bounce back from the beating that Outsiders gave them. One day decides if you're two-thirds of the way to elimination or the legend stage. C9 missed their stride, but David sure won't. Two bullets out of the Berettas, and Roy gets dropped as he looked to face up ramp. Now, that bomb is actually jumping its way through window. There's a duel between DGT and Nikodaz that just gave that bomb over to the side of the CTs. Crims is the only one to do anything here for Fnatic. So even though they only got those three T rounds, it looks like 9Z are going to extend play here on Mirage. Crims dropped. And a little life throughout the crowd will bode well for 9Z. And th this crowd has been witness to some fantastic comebacks all event long, so... I no, 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 Buddha. Take that nade back out. That's the big one. 
no early damage. So they're going to press in close. Buddha's got support, but still found out in the open. And NQZ, well, he's going to keep on tapping. Makes it nice and easy. Fasher and Nikodaz down without a fight. Roy to 32 health will answer. This is a 1v3 with a huge health disadvantage. But DGT slide now, and sure enough, Roy's not ready for that one. So now within five, yeah. 9Z. Spawn, and I think the Deagle jump spotting did get some information. Ooh, but volley pressure oh, and that flash. flash. Nice. Wow. Oh, but NQZ with the collateral. And David catches the Fasher. Oh, Buddha off of the catwalk. He's going to keep it alive. Crims, you want a knife? How about a clutch? I bet it feels even better. David slides in. Easy pickup. Very little left of him. Bomb can be grabbed, and Crims could depart. Could, but won't. At first, he wants to face. And those CTs are going to keep this shoulder to shoulder, putting themselves in a spot to be sprayed. Crims goes over, and Max, because he is that close, it's a quick, efficient trade, and an eighth for 9Z. Yeah, excellent space. There's nowhere to run and hide now. Fomis, MP9, double deagle. There's a smoke grenade over on Buddha, but there's nobody inside that B site. If they could win fights in middle first, then maybe a retake opens up. There's one kid, of course, on Buddha as well, so his death could be important. Where's it all get dropped? David, he catches a deagle kill. Nikodos, in the meanwhile, he's gonna find himself a double, and David gets just oh. blindsided and pinched upon within this B site. It's seven map points for Fnatic These are... on the choice of 9Z. Yes, there's two potential moments. They're still selling fakes. They're still selling fakes on B. They're allowing this walk-up to take place, and, oh. and he goes down. Oh my god, this call is insane. Meanwhile, we do have that top mid push, but it's being watched by Nikodos. For a second, he looked at his teammate's screen, and he can't react fast enough. Max comes through with what could be, could be, the recovery. Because Lord knows that the cat play could have been critical. Crimson Roy going to find two more kills. They're low health, though. This is, again, doable for 9Z. 30 seconds. Oh, they want to hold on to the site, but the bomb has to get recollected. And now Fasher has a new job. He's got to delay long enough. He's alive. They can get across. These smokes are here. They've got a molly inside of the pallet, inside of uh, the jungle, and they're forcing a big rotation. Late con smoke comes up. Oh, actually, it's in he the knows. jungle. Fasher has to fight, but he knows now where both players were. These are those kinds of moments that Fasher is going to deliver. Eight seconds. He's going to have to cover that plant. So sure enough, CTP comes through. Roy doesn't have the health for the jungle. It's Buddha on his own on one end, deep CT position. And the hopes of the 9Z fans on this retake, but by the time they arrive, the bomb is beyond the halfway point. This is so incredibly desperate that it's going to have to take instantaneous kills. Knives out from Mezzi. Inside the smoke, he's lost. And there's not going to be a defuse here. No how, no way, no sir. Fnatic serve up defeat within Mirage. It's 16 to 11. And off of the back of that 12-3 half, but you've got to say, 9Z tried their damn. That's entirely clear. So, yes, Buddha would probably more, be more comfortable up in heaven, but it's going to be the B commit. Those A players a world away. Dual Beretta's find Messi first. Can't get the better of Crims. DGT tries to slide wide, and it's Roy with the answer. But David's real quick, and now he's real dead. Nikodaz point blank with the pistol. And Buddha, tough spot. Three players to drop. Bomb already ticking, and so much time for Fnatic to just slide oh, into the after plant. But Nikodos goes down for free. He clears the corner, and Buddha, getting shot at, tries to bring it back. It's Roy with a little bit more health, and Buddha just needs to get it. But no, sir, Roy's going to deny, and Fnatic pick up T-side pistol. That would have been a crazy 1v3. You just don't. Meanwhile, Max holding off on Mini. Soon that smoke's going to come up, and the A-site could fall. They will hold on to it. The bomb is back in their possession. Buddha goes deep on Hut. And oh, Roy, Roy, oh Roy, he's going to be able to wrap around Heaven. No stopping him with that kill on Max. Oh, a pain can smoke to make it feel like they're going to go Heaven potentially. Ramp is wide open, so they have to kind of respect this. Lobby push comes in from Buddha, so there's a chance for him to bring this back. Oh, clean Gun play. switched, yeah. And Nikodaw is here with an op. Waiting for a second as David resides down beneath the Heaven. And sure enough, it all gets ripped away. So Buddha, active play, and he's going to find himself another. Taking a bit of an initiative and tucking into the hut. Catches Fnatic off guard. Yeah. I like that. 9Z. Kill Little at this gap. point, even though he's very low. And yeah, there is quite a gap here. But Max doesn't want to fight directly into it. Ooh. DGT off angle. This could go unchecked, but it's just the one. At least he gets Roy. Remember, Fasher barely left, and Max sticks around, runs the risk, 
finds Nikodot still just floating around the red. Crims, he's got the plant and Fasher, tough spot to press into what's going to be the 9Z retake on ramp. This is everybody. This is everyone. And Fasher's not able to cut down anything. So Crims into the back site. His only teammate left is Mezzi towards the double doors. And 9Z, well, they're going to soften up Crims nice and smooth so far. They catch him in the back site. Mezzi down to 10 HP. And it's such a desperate position. Smoked off as well. No vision. Just intuition as that defuse is being stuck. Mezzi's not even going to try to pull the trigger right away. He'll catch Max, but it's not the defuser. So 9Z with a CT lead early. Yeah, yeah. Front window, NQZ chasing, clearing this, and Crims oh, he didn't survives. Oh, but NQZ Ooh, spins it back around. David comes out from mini, and DGT's picked up Roy in the meantime. 3v3 with Mezzi pinned dead to DGT. Oh, that's two outside those spots. And the hut hold. Buddha back inside the A site. Ooh. Keeps it clean, and 9Z racking up the round wins. That's Play, dynamic outside setups, and honestly, a few easy rounds, dare I say. Max catches Roy outdoors, so the pistol pop, one player less already. Careful, Buddha, there's a guy on vent, but he finds Mezzi. Bomb's gonna be planted. It's a quick little pop down beat. Didn't even catch it myself. So fast was Fnatic. But as they come through that smoke, DGT already starts to unravel what's going to be a nigh impossible post plant. I mean, the health is low. There's only two left. You've got 9Z on the full buy. So take your bomb plant, walk away, and try again in the next one. Because this is 9Z continuing to tear you up. Yeah, I think happy to get many more chances. Fnatic, final round of the T side of Fort. We look back and thank God for them, they won the pistol. But one more chance is maybe all uh -oh. they need. David, blind as a bat, pinned against the wall. NQZ also down, so no impact from heaven. Ooh. And try, try again. They finally find that footing inside A. Poor Max dropped to 17 health, loses the bomb site, meant to be set ablaze, and no chance at a re-entry there for Mini. So three versus one. Clean from Fnatic. They'll get that little sprinkle of a fifth round on this one. And Max, where are you going, bud? No chance to get in for Mini. You know, going to heaven, I think that would be the next obvious move. Let's try something a little bit weird. Maybe they've decided to post plan inside of the lobby. But this is just, this is who 9Z are. They're going to try no matter what. Yeah, I like it. It's going to take maximum effort. And it gets shut down. So, Fnatic, sure enough, a saving grace of a fifth terrorist round win. Timing for the hut. Mezzi to be tested. His medal is sitting in the back site. Buddha slides through. NQZ connects. Roy comes out from mini and will only get the one. So, 9Z, man advantage. And all that Fnatic have left is the heavens. They fight out, and the first goes down. No trade back from Crims. And he's got two players down beneath, one fighting out from Hut. And Crims, what a difficult job this is. 70%, but not here tonight. Unless, unless, Crims can finish off the little that's left of DGT and the player down beneath him. The man towards squeaky jump spots. And Crims waits for a chance to strike. The bullet whizzes by, a warning sign of what's to come. It's a little more impact, but that's okay. all it is. It's an impact, not a round win. 9Z find 11. This would be their biggest nuke win if 9Z are able to pull it off. Clearing out the A site as DGT looks to go join his teammates. Mezzi's going to hear this, sees it, and deals with the first one. In fact, goes in for seconds, and Buddha's dropped. We've got close up on Max. Nice play. At least gets the trade back. He can focus over towards the D. Econ door. We've got 25 seconds and he needs to grab bomb, but DGT just got another kill. Are they going and that, that opens up the possibility Ooh, of a lead. That's not an easy rotation back, but they, they get up the vent, I think, fast with one. Fasher waiting for heaven. He's so quick to the jump. Oh, this is the last five seconds. Fasher, he's going to get the headshot to DGT. Max needs the clutch, gets one, but Nika does. He's right there with the off. Back and forth, a tug of war. Fnatic with at least a lifeline. It can very, be very easy to forget about that potential rotation back upstairs. It doesn't happen very often. Tech 9 out at the helm of this push. Three players behind him inside of lobby. And Max is the X Factor. If they keep these CTs busy and they find that right timing, now they have a very real chance. Tech 9 comes in big. Messi's going to get swarmed and he only gets two. Crimson oh. double from above. And Buddha. well, he's got a smoke to work with. He's got a chance with this one. And he's not known to be the heavy hitter. But goddamn, if this clutch wouldn't be felt by Fnatic. They're going to give him space to back up as well. He's got a one-way here sitting on the site. He's worried about Mini. 
He's worried about everything, looking at HUD as well. Trading pieces, Flash goes first, Buddha up with the first, sees the next, Tech 9 tap, further damage, and oh, it's desperate, but he just hides in, slides down his Nikodaz, reloads fresh, and there we have it, a Ooh. singular survivor for Fnatic. Oh, forced to reload. If he wasn't, of course, he could have really played with Nikodaz up there in heaven and made his life a Clogged. less cool nickname than the Shredder. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We'll stick with the first but one. But funnier. Dawn can use that. Fasher. Ooh, saw that right before he got blinded. Fasher still able to recover. Mezzi's in the open. This one's so quick. But Roy slides through. And as fast as 9Z hit this A site, they all hit the ground. But NQZ, oh god, he's out here. He's wrapping around the silo. CT doesn't see him, so that one's the freebie. Bomb can be retrieved. The next fight's low HP, and that's if he chooses to go mini. This would be the most godlike clutch, and Crims oh is God. busy on the ladder. But now he's in position, and that's what's gonna save him. Crims, oh God, what well, could have been another not He'll put fire on the floor and let Roy instead pick up the reins. Sure enough, finding Buddha on the cross, seeing the shadow of bodies as he taps away. It's the headshot to NQZ, and it's 13 Fnatic, right back to winning ways. Yeah, they're still just right. Op dominance. Get back in fast, folks. This one's looking like A, and Fasher already kicks it off. 4 3 5 as they try to press in, looking to keep that hope. But Messi sits on top, and Fasher's not missing. Every single kill towards Squeaky. It's nothing but the hunt push, and Fnatic, it's just the one kill left. They've done it. A legendary org back in the legendary stage. The King of King and Crims, Nikodaz. The embers of the Copenhagen.